I get asked a lot how I get my awesome finishes, the layering and the texturing, so I was like, all right, I'll show you guys how to do it. So you can see, I don't know, is that where you're close enough? You can see that there's a crackle with like this dark stuff in here, and then we've got this applique on here with all this detail, and there's a lot of texture and layering and goodness going on. Today's video, we're gonna talk about black wax, smeary wax, and appliques and how to get a really amazing artisan finish using some extra steps at the end and we seal using my oil wax which is something I don't use a lot so be sure to watch how we do it stay tuned all the way to the end for all the glamour shots and always go to jamierayvintage.com so that way you can get your paint and your finishes and appliques I've been painting this dresser and I put a coat of milk paint on it, half Sweetie Jane, half Pantry Door, and then I love the color, but I thought it was a little boring. So I've decided to use our Jamie Ray Vintage appliques. This is our keyhole applique, and I'm just gonna glue it on with E6000. So you can use these appliques on painted or unpainted surfaces in this case. Um, I already had a coat of paint on there, then I decided that I needed them. You're going to either want to lay them on a flat surface like this or use a clamp to hold them in place. It takes about two hours for that E6000 to dry, but once it's dried, it's not coming off. So this is the shabby rose swag that you can get on our website. I'm just putting this just on the middle drawer just to add a little bit of detail. On this particular dresser, there's like a rose detail on the mirror, so I thought it would be nice to carry that down onto this drawer. It's gonna give me something fun to add a little wax to. So whether I do white or black wax, this extra detail will make it look super cute. Otherwise, there's just flat surfaces and you don't have anything fun to. So I'm just gonna put this on here. Push it down, make sure it's adhered all the way around, and then let it dry. I already did some wet distressing on this. I wanna kinda of show you what it looks like. The awesome thing is it's got some really amazing crackle. But the way that I like to wet distress, especially when the paint is sticking really well, which milk paint and DIY paint tend to do, is I use my squirt bottle. Same like when I'm doing my blended look. I squirt the piece and I get it really wet with that. And then I just take my damp rag and remove the paint with my damp rag. That way I'm not having to constantly re-dip my rag and get it wet. If I'm just using a squirt bottle, I can just squirt it, distress it, and then I can really distress it where I want. All of this was done. Oh, so if you're making awesome. shadows. All of this was done with my squirt bottle. So. Is this my dresser? No, it's not your dresser, Jack. I've got my stubby wax brush with smeary wax mixed with DIY beadboard. So the smeary wax is a fairy chalk mother product and I really love it because it chemically bonds to any color you want. And I really want to give this dresser a really soft effect and I've actually already put some on right there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to rub it all over the piece. I'm just gonna dip it down into my smeary wax. And then give the piece a good whitewashed effect. Can you see how that's layering the colors on there? When I'm done, I'm gonna give it a light buff and then I think I'm gonna see seal this piece with oil wax. I haven't used that in a long time. It's a great thing if you're, you know, it's winter time and you're inside painting and you don't wanna use polyacrylic. Oil wax gives you a nice even finish, it's easy to use, and it doesn't smell up your house. The smeared wax has sat for just a minute. So I'm just taking my damp rag, it's actually the same one that I used to distress with, and I'm just smoothing in the smeary wax layers. And you can see, it just gives it this really soft effect. I'm gonna do the same thing on the sides. I'm just gonna take and smooth in my smeary wax. So I'm wanting to add some more depth and age, so I'm breaking into my DIY black wax using my same smeary brush, and I'm going to put this on the details and to just give it some highlight. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wipe back and 
pull it off. I'm gonna keep doing that until I get the look I want. So here it is, I've wiped off most of it. You can see that it was a little scary when I first did it, but now we've just got that aged look and it's down in the amazing crackle. I love mixing the waxes with the milk paint with the smeary wax. You can really get a technique and a look that you just can't get from paint alone. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the whole piece and then decide what I feel like doing next. So the final step that I'm gonna do before I seal this with my oil wax is to take my 220 sanding block and just go over it, smooth it out, blend it, and make it ready to go. You could, you don't necessarily have to do this because honestly it's pretty smooth anyways, but I really want to give a nice smooth effect and really blend those waxes together. Then I'll wait about an hour and I'll put my oil wax on. I've got my oil wax and I've got my chip brush here and I'm just going to put a thin layer of oil wax over the entire piece and I'm going to allow it to penetrate for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm going to wipe it off with a lint-free rag. And in case you buy this and you forget all that, the directions come on the bottle. Woohoo! I'm just going to pour it on here. That's kind of my application of choice. And then just take my brush and smear it all over the place. It kind of smells like a number two pencil, but at least it's not toxic. So I'm using my lint-free rag now that it's sat. I'm just rubbing it in and wiping off all the excess oil wax and it's buffing to like a nice satin shine. Then I'll let it sit overnight and it will be good to go. Woohoo, this piece is all finished with the waxing and the oil wax and the appliques make all the difference on this piece. Sometimes it's the small things that make a big difference. But if you wanna know more about milk paint because we didn't really cover it really well, be sure to look up my milk paint videos. We've got a playlist full of all kinds of information. Also, don't forget to go to jamierayvintage.com for the appliques, paint, and waxes that we use today. I am loving the oil wax finish on this. I wish you could feel it. It's super smooth, it's easy, it's a great finish to use when you're working inside. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so I can keep making more videos to help you finish your DIY project. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.